mammogram time. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, <laughs> I just got back from going and getting my um, mammogram done. Um, <clears throat> Good timing since it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But um, I'm feeling so, 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 so much better today. Yesterday was a very tough day. <laughs> I ended up in bed most of the day and night. I didn't make dinner last night. My husband took care of all that. Um, it was rough. I started out the day okay. And then this, I just started having really, really bad nausea and happened to use the restroom a lot <laughs> and <clears throat> really bad back pain, like lower back pain. Um, but it wasn't like my mus muscle skeletal issues. It was like kidney or bladder or something in there but the pain was the pain was so intense that it was like because I've I've had twins I've had you know multiple births and I've had low um I've had back labor um with a couple of those deliveries and this was just as bad if not worse I yeah it was bad <laughs> um so, you know, my husband came home and picked up the the slack on making sure everything was done with the kids and dinner and um, all that. So, thank you. Thank you to my husband for being so awesome when it comes to stepping up when I'm having a really bad day. Um, but like I said, today is Wednesday and I had to be at the um, breast center at eight o'clock for my mammogram. Got there, it was super quick. Um, in and out, made it back home, but I stopped on the way home at my favorite coffee place that's over there by the hospital called Coffee Junkies. It, it's only in Indiana, you know, it's only here. But this place is so amazing. Um, I got a sugar-free, chocolate covered cherry latte and then I also got a giant thing of ice water um, and a pumpkin muffin but I was only able to eat like two bites out of it and I was just like okay I'm done um, you know I'll probably like nibble on that throughout the day but um, I'm so glad I got the ice water because I totally forgot until I got back in my neighborhood that they shut the water off today from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. because they're doing construction and apparently they're flushing out the line, the water lines, or they're, they're doing something anyway. The water's off until 1 in the afternoon. So I'm really glad I got this extra large ice water and that I already had an ice water before I left well just water now all the ice has melted but that I also have another large water and I have two bottles of water in the fridge that I got the other day when I was out um, when I had to go to my uh, iron infusion so yay for having extra water to get me through the day um, and I'm glad I got the coffee because I can't make coffee unless I use one of my bottles of water. But I also have a half a cup of coffee that I started drinking before I left. And I've also got my tea with my Miralax in it. So I'm good. And I have apple juice and apple cider in the fridge. And so I'm good. I'm, I'm good on things to drink. Um, and I have a muffin to snack on. <laughs> um, 
and I was gonna do some cleaning but without water that's kind of difficult hmm. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting a chill day whether I wanted it or not um, but I can sweep the floors and I can make the bed and I can go through some stuff and organize without water so I'll probably do that that's that's probably what I'll do and I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner I think I'm gonna make homemade orange chicken and rice because my daughter asked for that and I can at least eat the rice maybe if not that I'm not breading the chicken I'm just um, pan searing it and then covering it with the orange sauce um, so I may or may not be able to tolerate it I don't know um, we'll see but yeah that's all for now I'll check back in later if something else exciting happens <laughs> So it is 11.54. Um, I think they're supposed to turn our water back on around 1. But in the meantime, I am going to do some sweeping and organizing because everything's a wreck. Like, everything. The last week has just been kind of crazy and chaotic. And I also have to order another band, watch band, for my Fitbit because mine broke. And I tried to put one from another uh, another type of tracker watch on it, but it just isn't working. So I just got to break down and order a new one. So that kind of sucks because I've gotten really used to having my Fitbit on again. But it is what it is. So we're just going to go with it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to clean and stuff. Man, why is my... This is like super swollen for some reason. Weird. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go.
Okay. I'm gonna take a little break and then work on my desk. And then I'm gonna go make the bed and sort out some laundry and stuff in the bedroom. But the floors are all swept and my chair that I use for when people come and want me to paint their nails and stuff is all cleared off again except for my purse which normally sits there. My table for my diamond painting stuff is all cleared off. And I unearthed the two shelves that I still need to hang up somewhere but I don't know where. <laughs> Making progress. And you suddenly realize you forgot to take off your hospital band. Whoops. Um, <laughs> and you can't cut it with those. There we go. <laughs> Brain fog. Got the bed made.
part of the dish is done. Dinner. Time to make dinner. set of nails and everybody is in bed for the night and I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a great day <clears throat> and that you're healthy and well and safe. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.